Hey guys, Terrence here. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to remove a front grille and a bumper off a 2008 Chevy Express van. This video may apply to vehicles ranging from the years 2003 to current, but can go as far as back to 1996 when they first introduced this body style on the Chevy vans. So let's get started. The tools you'll need for this job will be, uh, I'm using 10 millimeter, I'm using the long extension, this is optional. I'll show you guys why. Uh, I got a short extension on standby. Some pliers just in case. A wide fly head screwdriver, a wide one. Uh, 21 millimeter socket. I got a swivel because I'll show you guys why or how I'll be working since this truck, since this van has been in an accident. And a 15 millimeter socket for now. Since this van has been in an accident, I'm able to get to the bumper bolts with a swivel on both sides since I'll be removing the front end. But if you guys are removing the grill, as I am, uh, this the way I'm doing it should help you guys out. But if not, you'll have to go from underneath. If you're not moving the grill, you have to go from underneath and get a socket. I got a bolt right here. And get a socket up there and a ratchet. And these will be easy to get. A 15 millimeter bolt on these. For the, no, not those, I'm sorry. Right here, the brace bolts for that brace right there. Those would be easy to get to. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, let's get this front end off. 10 millimeter bolt here, here. Side. Now you need the flathead screwdriver, and I'll show you guys why. This one's already out. So, you want to push, I'll show you guys where to push at. Between the light, there's a white tab in here that you have to push back on. You have to push back and use this as a brace. You got to kind of get, use some force with it. Push it back, pull it over, and, and slide out, and I'll show you guys to get a closer view to that. Just you want to get the screwdriver directly between here. That's why you need a wild one, otherwise a small one will go between that hole and you can wind up breaking these tabs. So you want to push in and use this as leverage. And it pulls out. The rest is hold on by some tabs. This thing is broke. So remove the lights. When you get the when you push these tabs out, get the screwdriver in the side. You have to push this in and it'll put in a pull out. So you're gonna push this in. The screwdriver should come through here. That's why it's made like that with that groove. Push this in and it slides out. There's some tabs here. Just gonna pull them out. There's two millimeter, two millimeter, there's some 10 millimeter bolts in here as well. You pull these 10 millimeter bolts out. And the rest is held on by some tabs.
Okay, I want to show you guys. This is another tab, so I got the screwdriver in now. I'm going to leave the clip in so that I can put the new grill back into it. So I just want to pry this out without removing the clip. It broke in there. So I'm going to have to take the clip out anyway. I got the other one out. There's another one there. Got to pull that black piece out. And that's also broke. So, it's a bumper. Maybe one of our boats. There goes the other. And I'll remove these 15 millimeters first. On the bracket here. So we're gonna get those first, and then I'll get these. Right, guys, I got held up trying to get the boats out. So what I did was, if your front bumper's bent like mine was, but with the side is bent, we push those boats out of the line of coming up straight through here. So I'm catching hell. But a simple solution to this: get your get a jack. If it's if it's not tall enough, put a brick on or something, and jack it up at the corner of the bumper, right there. Just keep jacking. I'm pretty much clear now. It's gonna raise the bumper to the height it should be at. And then, as you can see, I can come over here. I'm gonna have to drill that bolt out. I'm gonna ease it down, but now it's gonna come out. I'm gonna get both of them out like that. So jack it up right there. And as you can see, I'm clear. I can pull right past the bumper now. But it's stuck, so I have to move the bumper up and then jack it up. Okay, there's nothing bent. Everything looks good. I have to bend these bars up. I'll use my jack to bend these bars up. As you can see, they look like they pop back in place. That was down some. So maybe the bumper was holding them down. Let's see about this one. We'll see as I get going. So here go both bumpers. I gotta remove some parts. That's the new one. Parts. That's the new bumper. Gotta take some parts off of here and put it on that one. Be back shortly. Couple quick tips, guys. To get these tabs out without breaking them, because they're very delicate, I soaked them with WD 40 first. And as I'm pulling back against this, I'm getting my screwdriver in each side, and I'm slowly, I'm removing one side out, and I'm pushing the other side out, and they come right out. But you have to oil them down, lubricate them really, really well with some lubricant. Otherwise, they're gonna break. Like the new one I got, I didn't pay attention to it, but there, there's two of them saved, but they all broke. 
All of them are broken. Those are two more. So I don't know, I may have to use some type of glue. I don't know. This one's slightly bent in the front. I don't know, I may try to save this one. I'll see if it contours around the bumper. And of course I may can get this to, yeah, this is flimsy, so I should be fine with this. I remove those clips and these tabs and put them on there. So yeah, and another thing real quick, guys. Since I got all this stuff off, might as well change the oil. It's about to get cold outside. So, recommendation for me, before you change the oil, buy this Motormatic, this motor flush. I've been using it for a super, super long time. I started using this stuff when I was, I got my first car, I was like 14, 15. And my brother's a really, my older brother is a very good mechanic and he's been using this as well. And he told me that before each oil change, I should use this to kind of get the engine, all the gunk out the engine and uh, it does a great job cleaning cleaning the inside of the engine. You let the engine, when you pour it in, before you change the oil, you pour it in the oil, exactly where you pour the oil at, and you let it run for five minutes before you drain the oil. So as you see right now, I'm draining the oil. Just about done. Since I got all of this stuff off, why not? And another recommendation, I got the oil filter ready. I'm using some Pennzoil, and I'm using some lubricant. I use I either use a one and a half of quarts because anything over 75,000 miles or 100,000 miles is considered as high mileage. So you can use up to two quarts of this stuff with along with some oil. As long as you top it off to the, I think this takes five and a half quarts, five, between five and six quarts. I know that for a fact. So uh, I'm going to use one and a half quarts of uh, oil stabilizer and the rest oil. And I'll top it off with the oil. So I got my oil filter. Yeah, but those are a couple recommendations, tips and recommendations. I'll suggest as we get the bump out of our way and everything off. So, all right, be back in a second. Okay, guys. Since I managed to save uh, the most most of these locking tabs or these clips for the old one I'm heating it uh, the plastic up and using my one of my dumbbells and getting that warp out of the front I'm almost there because I can't use that one but that one doesn't have it's only it only have a few tabs on it the mine looks better than that one anyway but yeah I'm gonna I'm going to buy some liquid nails I'll glue the foam inserts on top and the bottom. I'm gonna get the clear, some clear liquid nails, and I'll used to put a uh, like a bead of glue around each one of those so it won't come off. Yeah, I'm almost done. I pretty much got it straight. I'm just going from side to side as I heat up. Okay, I got the liquid nails. My part, both parts are straightened out pretty much. I place it on the. Uh, on top of these, on these top of these foam inserts. So, I'm gonna set these in place and let them sit overnight. Okay, there's one. So we have our phone pieces in place. And now I'm going to put the plastic bumper, bumper cover on top of them. Now I'll put some glue here. And I'll put some on the back side of the tabs. So, all right, let me pop this plastic piece on top of here and, and see what we got. All right, guys, that's working really well. Got a line, a few lines of the liquid nails there and here. And like I say, I want to make clear. Only reason I'm doing this is because these tabs, they're 
these locking tabs or clips, wherever they are, they're kind of bent out of shape. Even though they came out fairly easy with the lubricant, I'm not sure if they'll lock back in the slots. So, this is my extra security or support just in case I don't want the fly off. I want it to be firm on the bumper, this bumper cover. So, I'm about to snap it in place. Just got a couple lines there. And hopefully, it fits really well. It should. Be back in a second. Okay, it took me less than five minutes to do this. I'm trying to uh, not make the video lengthy, so that's what I'm filming uh, in between fixes. So, it took me less than five minutes. They popped in place really well, so I'm not gonna put glue in the slots. Everything lined up perfectly and they popped right in place. These corner tabs creates tension. So they hold in place and they popped in place. This thing is secure. I mean, it's only this firm. So, guys, I made the work. Look at the my little spot. Got a, a tiny little warp there still, but you guys seen how it was before. I can I can live with that. So we're gonna pop the bo bottom cover on and prepare to install the bumper. Guys, I messed up. I found some caliper paint I had, black, above my rim, and I just sprayed a little bit part of the bumper to kind of go with the front end, because that looks really good. And it looks really nice. So now, I should have painted where I was off. It was on my mind too. Now I gotta mask up the top part I don't want to paint the bumper cover. Oh man, that looks good. So I'm spraying that, guys, tomorrow. Guess what, guys? I painted the whole thing, and it turned out great. The paint got thin on me right there. I couldn't finish it up like I wanted to. But it turned out nice, really nice. Okay, I got the bumper set up against the frame. I got my bolts lined up. Not started yet. You wanna get these two, the two top bolts. The two, the main bolts started, the ones that go into the frame. You want to get these, just put in position, not tighten down. So it allow you to get these. Because they may be offset by this truck being in a minor accident. They were offset. So this rod or this brace is easily bendable. You can, without even loosening the screws, you can kind of bend it to the holes and align them up and push the bumper up and get the, the screw started you guys can see in there, but I haven't tightened anything yet. Just lining everything up. Just noticed a slight problem here. Not so much a problem, but an issue that I'm gonna fix. It's a little gap between here. Let's me know that when it's, when the car, uh, when the car was in an accident, he kind of bent this down. So I'll get my jack and I'll, I'll tighten this first and I'll bend this up in place with my jack. Not loosen those bolts, I'll bend it back as it should be. And it should line up perfect. This side is okay. I can I can deal with this. I got my bolt lined up. So I'm gonna zip those in and zip these down. Okay, I'll be back after I get through tighten these down and then we'll get the front end up. Okay, I got my jack in place, and I bent that rod up. I'm gonna make sure you leave those tight. I got this rod bent. So after I do this, after I release it, I'm gonna tighten these down. Let 
Yeah, it should be okay. Okay, Jack. The jack has been removed. I'll take that. I like that. All right, let me zip these guys down once again. And we on to the front end. Okay, before I put the front grill on, I'm gonna show you guys my plastic piece. I got it flat. I got it straight as an arrow. All with the use of the hair dryer and my weight. It looks good under there. I think that's a call a valance. But the plastic the shield under there or valance. We're done. Looks great, All right? Let's set the hood down. details looks great right guys okay thanks for watching if you found this video helpful please subscribe to the channel hit the like button and hit that notification bell yeah it looks good okay guys I'm done Terrence and I'm out